So I think the AMD graphics cards are definitely better value than Nvidia right now, but despite that, I just don't think I can consider buying them anymore. Let's talk about it. Okay, so if you've been watching my channel, you'll probably know I've been a huge proponent of AMD graphics cards as I do really think they bring great value and specifically the 7900 XTX was my graphics card of choice for quite a long time and a lot of it had to do with, well, it just actually had a lot less issues for me when it came to monitor compatibility. And while I do still think that is the case, I've actually recently swapped back to an RTX 4090, which I know you can clown on me in the comments for constantly swapping graphics cards, but I think this time there's a really good reason reason to go with Nvidia and here's why. Now this all started with a new update Nvidia dropped that not only came with a new driver but also a new Nvidia app which everyone's been talking about and is actually really great as it's much faster, simpler, requires no login and consolidates everything Nvidia into one interface. But as cool as that is, honestly, it was a long overdue update and I'm not going to give out brownie points for joining the modern era with AMD and their adrenaline software suite. No, the thing that I want to talk about today guys is Nvidia RTX HDR. Now people have been mentioning this, I'm sure you've heard them, but I don't think anybody's done justice to just how big of an update this really is for people who have an HDR monitor, which by the way, I do believe that investing in an HDR monitor right now is not only a really good decision as good HDR has come down in price significantly, but also I believe that HDR is the biggest upgrade you can make to your setup. And yes, that does include graphics card upgrades. Even if you had the choice between going from say an RTX, you know, maybe 3080 to a 4090 versus SDR to HDR, I would highly suggest you go to HDR first before considering upgrading your GPU as let's be honest, the display is the thing that you actually look at. So if you have a bad display, no matter how fast your graphics card is, it's just not gonna look that much better. So in any case, let's get into this and I'm gonna explain not only why this is a huge deal, but also why I'm personally no longer gonna be considering AMD graphics cards, at least until they get an answer for Nvidia RTX HDR, which I'm sure they will at some point, but for now, they don't. In any case, Nvidia RTX HDR is really important because Again, HDR gives a massive visual upgrade and there are a ton of games which unfortunately don't support HDR or even auto HDR on Windows 11. And to be honest with you, auto HDR is kind of hit or miss anyway, and it does have a bunch of its own issues. And I really think that Nvidia RTX HDR is a more advanced and more well accurate version of HDR if you had to choose between the two. It's also really easy to turn on. All you have to do is go download the Nvidia app, turn off auto HDR on Windows 11, update your drive and set it on globally or for each game. And the way it works is apparently according to Nvidia, it does use the tensor cores in an RTX 20 series or newer GPU. And it also widens the brightness range and it converts sRGB into sCRGB. Now I'm not gonna get too in depth with this today. And if you wanna get more in depth, I would suggest going over to the Display Guide channel where I will be visiting this shortly over there and doing some very in-depth testing. However, just be aware that sCRGB is a much wider color space and is going to allow for, well, better colors in HDR versus sRGB. So that's really good to see. And the great news is they're actually using some sort of proprietary code to try and emulate what it would look like in sCRGB to give you not only more bright and better colors, but try and keep them as accurate as possible, which is going to be very, very important as yeah, sure. You can run DCI-P3 or other color spaces in Windows, but you're just going to be stretching it into that color space and it's going to be vastly oversaturated. This should not be a problem on NVIDIA RTX HDR. That is very, very important and great to see that Nvidia does care about accuracy. And not only that, but you can also even adjust it to your liking if you don't really care about accuracy that much. So that's really good to see. And my only piece of feedback to Nvidia would be, it does seem to be getting the brightness values off of the edit of the display, which can sometimes be wrong. So I do think they need to update that to allow us to manually put in the maximum brightness of our display to make sure it's correct. But in any case, let's go ahead and take a look at some side-by-side examples of just how good this is. Now I'm going to be showing you some footage from both Apex Legends as well as Fortnite and as you can see when you enable it versus disable it, it's absolutely insane how much better the image looks. The fact that you can make your screen look way better by simply just enabling a toggle is absolutely incredible and it's something that I thought we would never see. This effectively fixes HDR on Windows 
to a large degree, although of course we will need a little bit better support by Windows as well, which should be coming later this year with a upgrade to its color management system. But for now, this is still a huge improvement for everybody who owns an HDR display and has a ton of games that don't actually have HDR or good HDR. Not only should this look pretty good, but according to some other people I've seen, the black levels should actually be zero and not raised as you see on many other well, poor HDR implementations on PC, a common problem that we have. So yeah, the image should be high contrast, high brightness, and just look really great overall. But of course, as with everything, although it has its pros, it also has its cons. And the cons are gonna be around, well, accuracy, because although NVIDIA is doing its best to try and keep it as accurate as possible, they are still relying on an algorithm, which is not only gonna apparently have a performance cost, which I measured to be around 10%. I think I've seen people say it's anywhere from like five to 20%, depending on your graphics card and the game that you're running. So that is unfortunate, but also the algorithm does sometimes get things a little bit wrong. I have seen in some games, maybe the black levels do get crushed a little bit. And in other games I've seen maybe a tiny bit too much saturation, or maybe the contrast is just slightly off. But to be honest with you guys, I do think overall, although it's not perfect, it's actually really good, way better than it has any right to be. And honestly, again, I think it's worth buying an Nvidia graphics card just to get this. And for me personally, I am no longer gonna be looking at AMD because I know that my HDR experience is gonna be more consistent and far better on Nvidia, which is a huge deal for PC gaming. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that this Nvidia RTX HDR is really such a huge deal? Or do you think that I'm overblowing it and it's not worth considering Nvidia to get this feature? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.